So the first episode tackles the story um, that children see in the book. So when you come, when it comes to adapting a single book into a series, what is the planning like for spacing out the content um, while you're building for the show? Do you mean in terms of spacing out the content of the of the book? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, of course, it's like it. The the book, it, what part of the charm of the book, right? Is it doesn't have this, uh, you know, um, linear plot. Really, it, it 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 does a little bit. You know, they're all headed somewhere. They end up at this party in the tree. So I think the book presented a lot of uh, a lot of clues for what the world could be. You know, you have a bunch of dogs sharing a bed together. You have you know this family. You have. Um, this tree where uh, the party happens, you have traffic jams. I will say, I think we probably didn't space it out tremendously well. We used a lot of it in the first episode. The first episode was like, hey, you know the book and here's a show that's kind of like the book. From there, it was kind of like, okay, now we have a world. What else can happen in this world? So I think from there moving forward, you still saw things like the blimp and, you, and the party tree and aspects of the world that were set out in the first episode but it started to evolve into its own thing. You know, I think with a, with a with a meteor book that had more plot and stuff like that, you might, you know, just you might just tell one story in the first episode and stretch that out over a season a little bit more. But for this, we kind of um, dumped it all into the first episode and took it from there. Yeah, so what are some of the main educational themes that you've tried to bring to the show for this under six crowd? Yeah, I would say the main theme, the sort of umbrella theme is community, uh, which is a pretty broad theme, but one that felt important to me in developing the show. It, it, it felt that we could use a show that's kind of about the, the, the pride you have in a place and the, and the way that you welcome new members into a community and the hopefully harmonious relationships between members of the community. Uh, and from there, there's sort of subset themes that come off of that. There's episodes about teamwork. There's episodes about welcoming. There's episodes about kind of getting along with your family. So everything fits into that larger umbrella of it being a community show. But we found that that, that has some interesting offshoots in terms of these other themes that we tried to work in throughout. So do any of the dogs share a likeness to some of the creator's dogs? <laughs> Not specifically, no. I, I I did, you know, think about whether I should work in a dog inspired by my my dog's name is Winnie, and she's a kind of a a, a black lab mixed with greyhound. Now I will say she's fast, uh, so she does have that go quality, um, and you know, so in, in that sense, I I think um, I think she would enjoy the show because uh, she would relate to the fast dogs. But design wise. And other than that, personality-wise, not specifically. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. Not yet. Could happen. So I've seen that some of the new merchandise has kind of come out. There's been books that have hit the market for the new show. Um, so are there plans for toys, like a Lady Lydia and her hats toy that we might see in the future? Well, that's a fantastic idea, firstly. I'd love to see it. Uh, I don't know of any specific plans in the works, but... You know it's early yet and um yeah i mean i i i think that would be cool to see down the line um i i don't have any specific news to share on that front but lady lady in her hats that's that's a good one i like that we would definitely buy that one to to flip on all the hats yeah, that's a great idea yeah <laughs> thank you